Just under 8,000 Bengals fans filled Welcome Stadium today as the Bengals took the field for their first practice of training camp. A.J. Green did sustain an ankle injury. I'll touch on that in just a minute. But first, Hutch Connerman gives us a wrap from today's practice. Thanks, Ethan. You know, the last time the Bengals were at Welcome Stadium was 2010. That was the rookie year for Carlos Dunlap and Geno Atkins. Geno and Carlos are still with the Bengals. Gone is Marvin Lewis, so the rookie might be new head coach Zach Taylor. Well, first day is in the books over here. I think it was good to get in front of these fans. Uh, you know, the Bengals fans that are here in the Dayton region, it's a, a big support base for us. So excited to get out here and get a chance to let these players perform in front of them. The mental mistakes were at a minimum, but I thought overall the units performed pretty well. I mean, today was a little bit lighter day uh, with what we were doing, but um, you know, I just feel like Zach's got his, got his way of doing things, and uh, it's been good for us. I mean, it's a like I said, it's a good start, good day one, and so uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out more as camp goes on. Especially, you know, practicing uh, where you grew up at, and uh, you know, played a lot of peewee games here and played high school games here, so it was, it was very exciting for me. Well, the Bengals seem to enjoy their training camp opener here in Dayton. We should mention that in 2010, when they were here at Welcome Stadium, they went on to finish four and 12. That was the worst mark in the Marvin Lewis era. Hopefully history doesn't repeat itself. At Welcome Stadium, Hutch Connerman, Two Sports. All right, thanks Hutch. Now to the A.J. Green situation, who is obviously looking to stay on the field uh, this season after missing seven games in 2018 with repeated toe injuries. In 2016, Green missed six games, and in 2014, he missed four games again with a toe injury. We don't have it on video, but Green did appear to be in a lot of pain today. He is expected to get an MRI. Numerous reports out of the NFL say they expect Green to miss a portion of training camp, but not the start of the season in Seattle.